Quick left. Quick right. Quick left. Show some love for the slalom. Road to cross. In this episode, we head out to one of our favorite courses called Slalom Fest. It features not one, not two, but three different types of slaloms. With over 1,700 degrees of turning, that gives our course difficulty a 4.9. And for more on slaloms, let's bring in the race professor. Slalom is a series of left and right turns that challenge the racer's ability. Slaloms can be set in either inline, where the gates are set, you guessed it, in a straight line, or staggered, making the challenges a little bit more for the racers. They can also be a loose set where the spacing between the gates is generous, both inline and staggered, or they can be a very, very, very tight set where the racer has to rapidly go left and right. This can also be applied to the stagger. Adding slaloms to your course design will make your racing experience wonderful. 100 yellow arrows to lay, so let's get cracking. 100 yellow arrows to set, 100 arrows to set. You put one down, spin it around, 99 yellow arrows to set. Course design. Racer's tip. Design courses with lots of diversity, both turns and obstacles. Let's turn on the race cam. The course is divided in three sections. The first one is cartwheel. The racer will be going topsy-turvy over this speed section. The racer should be full throttle through this loose set inline slalom into a tight radius. As we enter, twisties. The racer flies dangerously low through the duck under into the second inline slalom around a hairpin. Then he enters the third slalom, which is staggered. Boy, this course has got it all. We treat staggered slaloms like mini hairpins. The last section is Harpo's. Unlike a race car who can only go left and right, our vehicles can go up and down. So we need to design our courses in three dimensions. Harpo starts out with a flyover, where we gain speed on the descent as we go into a constrained hairpin. If you can't get on the air brakes quickly, things are gonna get ugly fast. That's gonna leave a marks. Racer's tip, design speed entries into your hairpins, whether it be a long straightaway or an exit from a flyover. Coming out of the constrained hairpin, we lay on the throttle as we race for the finish line. Tough stuff over at Slalom Fest. Run timing. Challenging course set, time to get a hot lap. Racer's tip, time your runs. You're not racing unless you're getting a lap time. Turn your transmitter's timer into a stopwatch. Now let's race. We're full power as we go to the start finish line, entering cartwheel. Loose set, inline slalom, hard right, pressure on the elevator, hard left, into our tight radius and getting ready for the duck under as we enter. Twisties, medium set, inline slalom, tough to set up for. Treat it as a straight line, forward pressure again, into our hairpin. We're training our eyes to look past the turn. Now our eyes are looking way down the course as we go through this alley into the staggered slalom. Really tough braking here. You gotta go fly sideways and brake. Three trees, and then we're up for the flyover, entering Harpo's. A lot of speed coming as we dip our nose. Now here it is right here. We gotta brake hard, brake hard, brake hard, and fly through the hairpin. Exit under full power as we dog leg left. Cross the start finish line for an excellent time. Run analysis. We've flown slalom fast several times, which has helped expand our comfort zone. Racer's tip, fly a set course. No sense of timing your laps when you're doing joy rides. With a set course, you can come back several times during the year, time your laps, and actually see your improvement. That is a scientific fact. Let's critique this last run, starting with what worked. We've been working hard lately on our slaloms, and the results are finally starting to show. Both inline slaloms looked really good, we kept forward pressure on the elevator, and we kept our eyes looking far ahead. The staggered slalom requires completing the turn at the apex. Now let's look at what could have been done better. High speed entries into these tight turns are nail biters for sure. 
I was clearly out of my comfort zone as I had an air brake sideways, leaving a blind spot behind me and on my sides. To make matters worse, at Harpo's hairpin, we're coming out of the flyover, so we're gaining speed, and we have to try to brake as we go into a constrained hairpin. That's tough stuff. But hey, if it was easy, we wouldn't have as much fun, would we? So let's review our takeaways from Slalom Fest. When you're doing your course design, remember, maximize your turn diversity with tight radiuses, hairpins, and all types of slaloms. Loose set, tight set, inline, and stagger. For maximum challenge, set up your hairpins with high speed entries. Fly a predefined course and always, racers, time your runs. Keep those tips in mind and your next lapping session will be... Wunderbar! All right, racers, now go light it up. Tree Racers, we try to inspire, educate, and entertain. You YouTube viewers have a choice of what you want to watch, so we respect our viewing audience's time to try to produce quality videos. As the race professor would say, it would be wunderbar if you would share or embed this video. And if not, hey, maybe just subscribe. Either way, just go have fun broadening your FPV experience.